Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back for another IGN episode. We got episode 10, so let's get right to it. Oh, it's craziness happening. <laughs> And yeah, like nothing happened. Meanwhile. Oh. Saki is turning savage. I mean, every character in the show is savage right now, but still. Hope the Saki doesn't turn to the dark side. Well, technically, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Sato was gonna have too much fun. All right, we got episode ten. Celebration begins as soon as it starts. <laughs> Tell us some secrets. So we left off last episode. <laughs> Tasaki is not playing any games right now. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. That's too much smoke. Coming back to life defies the laws of physics, technically. <laughs> but, I mean, still. <laughs> certain person.
How do you know all this stuff, first of all? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Not really. <laughs> wow. Okay. So basically he's saying that the IBM has a limit. That's the main lesson. How long have you been in there? Mm. Really? <laughs> what is wrong with him? Really? <laughs> like manga, exactly. <sighs> K is crazy. <laughs> Oh, did it just respond to him? That's so weird how his IBM works. Mm. <laughs> Reverse psychology. <laughs> and then how do you explain the tree? say that still uh. <laughs> He's being nice right now.
Oh, wow. Sucks. <laughs> Do they make him really crazy? There's going to be too many people suspicious. long for K. Halfway point already? Damn. This episode was going by quick. Telling the truth. I mean, he has no reason to lie at this point. <laughs> He's just happy he took his position. <laughs> Nobody has any ideas. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. True, true. But still, <laughs> he took his job. To something. Slick. Wow. <laughs> Saiti Saki is just one step ahead.
What is he gonna do? <laughs> you damn straight. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now they feel guilty. It's a little bit of acting, but... He is so slick. What are you up to, Sato? <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. You got that from a TV show. <laughs> Wasn't that from the 18? Mm. I guess they're finally about to make a move. <sighs> Cliffhangers! I hate them. All right, everybody, that was our Jin episode 10. And after watching this episode, it was pretty much another slow paced episode. And it progressed upon Tasaki and him trying to find out about more of the Jin abilities. And pretty much so Sato, he's setting up the, uh, the plan to infiltrate that one building. And then we still have K and he has his normal living. But so this was, I guess, another setup episode. But ultimately, we did find out some details about the IBM. It turns out that, you know, you can only use the IBM one to two times a day and, you know, as they appear, you know, they gradually become weaker and the rain kind of affects them a little bit. So they're not supposed to exist, but they do. So in a way, you know, they 
they're like, you know, radioactive waves. You know, you can't see them, but they exist in some sort of way, like physical matter. So it's kind of hard to explain. But ultimately, they're saying that, yeah, these IBM, they can, like, they can exist figure to like in a in a matter type of way but ultimately they're not supposed to exist so it kind of explains why other people can't see them but at the same time you know it's like yeah they're there and they can be used to physically battle somebody or just like you know use them you know for like any any sort of like matter ability so it's kind of hard to explain you know but <laughs> i did get the info from this episode but ultimately yeah we see k He's starting to uh, pretty much get some suspicion from other people around the the uh, place that he lives at. And ultimately, I think, you know, he, he's going to get caught. Like, I mean, he has that Ajin still stuck in that truck and then he's trying to feed him. And then he has this and that and he's walking around trying to take notes and stuff. And then, I don't know, maybe one day somebody will see his ghost and he'll just get caught. I mean, he... He pretty much let himself loose with the apology and stuff. I mean, he pretty much told the truth. But at the same time, I wonder, is he going to try to poison those people? Or, you know, because K, he seems like he'll do whatever it, it takes to actually live in that place. So it kind of makes me wonder, will he actually go ahead and poison those people? So, yeah. And other than that, you know, it was pretty much Tosaki. You know, he's going around trying to find the truth. And Sato, he's still planning what he's going to do. So, you know... Yeah, it was pretty much set up, and I mean, hey, what's going to happen next? I think Kay's going to get caught. He's going to have no choice but to fight. Sato is probably going to infiltrate that building. He'll probably succeed because it seems like everybody else is dealing with their own thing. And Tasaki, I mean, even if he finds the truth, like either way, I think somehow Kay and Tasaki are going to team up. Like in the end of it all, I can see them teaming up and then going against Sato. That's what I see. But anyway, decent episode. You know, it was set up, but I still can't wait to see all the action go down. But yeah, I'll catch you guys around later for that next episode of Ajin. And thanks for watching, everybody. All right. What is he going to do? <laughs> you damn straight.
<laughs> now they feel guilty. It's a little bit of acting, but... Oh, did it just respond to him? That's so weird how his IBM works. Psychology. Uh oh. He can't see it though. And then how do you explain the tree? <laughs> He's being nice right now. <laughs> Do they make him really crazy? gonna be too many people suspicious. So long. 
long for pay. Halfway point already? Damn. This episode was going by quick. He has to be telling the truth. I mean, he has no reason to lie at this point. <laughs> He's just happy he took his position. <laughs> Nobody has any ideas. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. True, true. But still, <laughs> he took his job. to something. Shady. That was slick. Wow. <laughs> Saiti Saki is just one step ahead. <laughs> A certain person. How do you know all this stuff, first of all? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Mm. 
Not really. <laughs> Okay, so basically he's saying that the IBM has a limit. That's the main lesson. <laughs> wow. How long have you been in there? Really? <laughs> what is wrong with him? Like Monda, exactly. K is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back for another IGN episode. We got episode 10, so let's get right to it. Oh, it's craziness happening. <laughs> Yeah, like nothing happened. Meanwhile. Oh. Saki is turning savage. I mean, every character in the show is savage right now, but still. Hope the Saki doesn't turn to the dark side. Well, technically, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. I thought it was going to have too much fun. Alright. We got episode 10. Disintegration begins as soon as it starts. <laughs> Tell us some secrets. So we left off last episode. <laughs> Tasaki is not playing any games right now. <laughs> We know that. Hmm. Interesting. Hey. 
Foundation. It's too much smoke. Oh. Well, coming back to life defies the laws of physics, technically. <laughs> but... I mean, still. Mm. So in a way, they get weaker? <laughs> 